materials you will need are duct tape, clear tape, Velcro, an X-Acto knife, a metal ruler, a cutting mat, and optionally non-stick scissors. First thing you'll want to do is cut out two pieces of duct tape in your inside color and two pieces of duct tape in your outside color that are all five and a half inches long. Then take your inside color and stack it up to be three and a half inches tall. to flip this sheet over so the sticky side is facing up and take your outside color. The bottom piece will be flush up against the bottom strip and the top piece will create a fourth of an inch of trim at the top. And then you can flip this over and fold over the trim. To fold over the trim then you can take your scissors or exacto knife and cut off any extra stickiness on the side. And then create as many dividers as you want sections. So then what you want to do is cut out two strips of duct tape that are seven inches long. You can create all of your expandable sections at the same time. You will need two for each one of your sheets. So then take one of your pieces of tape and fold them in half. I like to do them two at a time so I don't get confused when I'm putting together the note card holder and just smooth it out. Then once you have your expandable sections, then you want to cut out a piece of tape that is three and a half inches long and cut that in half. Then take your divider and put half of the sticky on to it and add your expandable section. When you add your expandable sections, you want to make sure that the rounded edge is on the same side as the rounded edge on the divider. Then cut out a piece of clear tape that is three and a half inches long and cut that in half. Then what you want to do is cover the stickiness on the back of the expandable with this half piece of tape. And then smooth it out with your finger or a credit card. So then both of these will be covered up and the outside will have a piece of duct tape on that. And then cut out a piece of tape that is three and a half inches long out of the clear tape and cut it in half again. Then add it to the one of the insides of the expandable sections. Smooth that out with a card and take another expandable section and you want to make sure that your outside color is facing front or the color you want facing the front and then add a piece of clear tape to the other expandable and attach that to the divider like shown.
Then you want to make two more expandable sections and attach them to your divider using clear tape. So this will be on the inside of the divider. And make sure the rounded edges are on the same side. So do this to the other side. The rounded edge is at the top on both the expandable and the divider. And I just added a piece of clear tape and smoothed it out. So then you'll have something that looks like this with two flaps and the outside will not have a piece of duct tape. So you want to cut out a three and a half piece of duct tape, cut that in half and add it to the outside where it is not put together with duct tape yet. Do that to the other side as well. So then you'll have a box-ish shape with two flaps on the outside. So then you'll want to repeat the same steps as shown at 5 minutes and 40 seconds to the other dividers. Once you have this, you should have all of the dividers attached together with duct tape and clear tape on the back. Then there will also be two little flaps at the end. Then what you want to do is cut out a piece of duct tape that is 7 inches long and overlap more strips to be five and a half inches tall, I used four strips of tape. And since I did not want mine to be super thick, I stacked it up and cut off any excess. Then I peeled this up and set it to the side. So then you want to cut out your outside color. You want 9 inch duct tape. And I use 4 strips. Assuming that your bottom is five and a half inches long, you want to cover the sticky up with your outside color and leave a half inch on the left side, a half inch on the bottom, and a full inch on the right side. and also a half inch on the top. So again, I left an inch on the top so I could cut it down. But make sure one of your five and a half inch sides has the inch of duct tape. So then take one the half inch duct tape side and flip over the trim. And then take your big expandable section 
and fold it back so it creates an accordion. Pipe fold, like shown here. And I like to fold it down while I'm doing my other side. So once you've done your other side, then you want to place it on the side with the inch tape so you can fold that over. This just helps it to be more secure because it is a little bit thick. And then take a five and a half inch piece of clear tape and cover the bottom. And again, I smooth it out with a card. And then flip it over so it looks like this. And cut a slit where your extend will stop. And fold it over. And then do the same with the other side. Also fold over the two flaps of speaking. And then you should have this and it's time to add on Velcro. You take your, I like to take the rest side and put it on the bottom. So take it and put it close to the top but not on the edge. And then for my fuzzy piece of Velcro, I like to make it longer so it will be able to expand and there will be room to grow. So cut off the Velcro and attach it to the flap. And then you can fold it and make it tight. or you can fold it and make it loose. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and go check out my Store Envy shop, which you can purchase these if you don't want to make your own. And go check me out on my Instagram. Bye, guys.